Hey everybody, this is Adam Kokesh here in No Force One, and we are in Denver, Colorado, getting some repairs done on the rig, but we have some very exciting announcements today about the Operation Big Easy Book Bomb. Most importantly, we now have an official Dash proposal in, so big shout out to Ryan Gall and all of our co-sponsors for that Dash proposal who chipped in for the five Dash fee to make that possible, so thank you so much. We'll come back to explaining exactly how that happened, but first got to thank some other sponsors who have already stepped up. One who, who stepped up anonymously, who wants the inside here to say, we are the ones we've been waiting for. So he's going to have this artistic version of that put together for that. Brian Ellison, Senate candidate in Michigan, stepping up. Thank you very much, brother. Ernie Hancock, Freedoms Phoenix. We've got two spots reserved for him. And Jay and Ed, authors of a book, Crypto Shrugged. And of course, Smart Cash, who went up and actually have already paid for eight lines, eight historic sponsorships and just to back up we are putting this book the ultimate libertarian voluntarism red pill in every single residential mailbox in new orleans for just 60 cents each that's two hundred five thousand. we're raising about one hundred and twenty thousand dollars to make this happen it's going to be a letter from me on the inside here thank you to our sponsors in here now big announcement today in changing this we realize as we we're doing the layout that because the sponsors are only going to get their stuff in black and white here. And by the way, we already have some fun ones. There's uh, there's someone, because in, in the letter I'm thanking Bitcoin.com, there's someone who wants to take out an ad against Bitcoin Cash specifically, so that's going to be in here. We have some other people who are considering some fun ads like that, really making something interesting of this historic ad space. But in the back where we used to have this little ad for freedom merchandise. Instead, we have this really cool logo that we're going to put here, but leave this space open for our sponsors as well. So they're going to have their logos and color in that. Now, a couple other things. You can see my, my really crappy sketch here laying it out. We are going to have the world's smallest political quiz here in the back. Another modification for this. Uh, by the way, if you don't know the world's smallest political qu quiz, please check it out. Go to the, the, uh, the website of the people who host this. Let's see, I have it uh, pulled up here. Theadvocates.org, great group who have been pushing this incredible tool for helping people realize how libertarian they are by asking them a simple, a simple series of questions that reveals how they just don't fit in the left-right paradigm at all and that conservative and liberal are really destructive, false constructs of statism. So I hope you'll check that out, and I think it's going to be really cool for that to be in the copy of this book that goes to every mailbox in New Orleans. The other thing, and this is something that's unique to the United States. Now, this book is written for a global audience. So we wrote it, like I said, to be the ultimate red pill, and it's got to be globally applicable because this book drop is specifically going to an American audience. We're also going to include something about jury nullification here. And of course, in the letter from me, it says, hey, I'm a lifetime member of the Libertarian Party. And of course, the National Libertarian Convention is coming up very soon here in New Orleans. So please join us and join us at LP.org, getting all those critical plugs in. But because it's going to the United States, jury nullification is something that is really critical for people to know about. And it's kind of a cool experiment to think if we got the message of jury nullification in front of an entire city, how it could possibly change the justice system there and the prosecution of victimless crime laws. The basic concept of jury nullification, and this is well established in U.S. law, even though a lot of judges won't let you talk about this in court, is that if you're a juror, you have the right to vote not guilty just because you think the law is bullshit. Just because you don't want someone to get punished for something that you think they have a right to do. It's kind of like the Fourth Amendment. You know, you really should be able to do what you want in the United States. As a, as, if it's going to be a free country if you're not bothering anybody, right? So that right to privacy is really important. But similarly, this is why the jury mechanism is built in here. So getting this in front of everybody in New Orleans could be a lot of fun. But I want to explain a little bit about this Dash proposal because what Ryan and the co-sponsors have done is really significant. And this explains why I'm a fan of Dash. And it, it really started for me uh, working with Amanda Billy Rock, Amanda Johnson, so many years ago and being a fan of her show, uh, talking about cryptocurrencies and Dash especially. But then most recently at Anarchapulco, listening to Chuck Williams' speech and getting to talk to Ryan Gull and hang out with both of them. And they were really encouraging of us submitting a Dash proposal for this. And we decided instead of doing it for the whole one we would just keep it limited to the sponsorship a lot of reasons for that but we didn't want dash to be seen as like the, the sole ones behind this project but just that this represents an awesome advertising opportunity for everyone in the crypto space because 
understanding freedom comes with the imperative of opting out of government money as much as you possibly can and obviously cryptocurrencies along with metals and so many other tangible assets but right now it's cryptocurrencies that's how we end the fed and dash.org is their main website so check it out dash.org if you have no idea what dash is and just to step back for a second for myself i'm really excited not just because we have Bitcoin as, as, as the, the pioneer of this, but because there's so many hardworking people improving the concept. And, and I, I feel like we're just we're waiting for the killer app. We're waiting for a tipping point to come with cryptocurrency where that, that's just it. You know, it could be that that government money is, is just obsolete. The dollar goes through its inflationary death spiral, you know, in a matter of months. It, it could be around the corner. It could be a critical mass of users. Maybe we don't need a killer app. But the development of new cryptocurrencies with with better services, better built-in features, there are so many things that we can be doing with cryptocurrency that are, are just being explored in Dash and Smart Cash and, and so many others are great examples of this. But in, on Dash.org, you can get an introduction to what Dash is all about. And DashCentral.org is where these proposals happen. Now, don't want to be claiming to be an expert on any of the technical stuff, but just one of the ways that I see the processes in Dash in a term in terms of a voluntary governance system, it really is beautiful how they're able to show that on a blockchain you can have decentralized voting, you can have decentralized control, and you can have people based on their stake and ownership get to decide where this money for projects comes from, which is what the proposals process is. So dashcentral.org is an interface with the Dash blockchain. It both pulls data from and sends data to and allows people who are master node owners, that is people who control 700 Dash, and that's, that's a lot, you know, um, excuse me, 1,000 Dash. So when Dash was, was at $700 recently, you're talking about a $700,000 asset. I don't think it's gonna be long before Dash gets back up to $700. But this is where the proposals happen, dashcentral.org. You can see them actually, they're happening on the blockchain, but the way to interface with them, dashcentral.org, that's where the action is. That's where the voting happens. And it's where, as, as Ryan says, most of the magic happens. Now, in order for this money to be generated, to be available for projects, they have to have a system, right? And basically 45% of the coins go that are generated with every new block go to the miners, 45% go to the master node owners, and up to 10% then remaining can go to treasury projects. And basically when you're uh, submitting a proposal, you're asking for that dash to be generated with the blessing of the MNOs. Now, they have a 10% supermajority voting system. So it's yes votes minus no votes has to be over 10% of the total number of master nodes. And as I understand, it, they're about 4,700 right now. So it's a little bit complicated, but when you take the time to understand it, you see that it's a really cool, voluntary, decentralized governance model and just one beautiful example of what's being developed on the blockchain. So what Ryan decided to put in for our proposal was for 25 Dash, the pro proposals are measured not in dollars, but in Dash, of course. And that's for over the next three months, as you can see from way, the way this project is laid out. We'll include the link below to the original Steemit article that laid out the, the numbers and the timeline for the Operation Big Easy book bomb. But um, being it, having it spread out over the next three months means it's going to be available for the printing of the books, for the shipping of the books, or excuse me, for the, the, the direct mail delivery, and for the promotion period after the books arrive or as the books are arriving in New Orleans. So I'm really excited about that. And, and now if anybody wants to step up and sponsor as well the World's Smallest Political Quiz or take some of the sponsorship space on the back, that's all available now. Open a negotiation. We have so far sold... Uh, Altogether, eighty-one thousand dollars worth of uh, well, if we get this dash proposal, I should say. And I know it's a little presumptuous, but I'm hoping that uh, when when people who are MNO see this, that that they'll go and vote for this project. They'll go vote yes on this. And you can see it if you go to uh, dashvotetracker.com, which pulls the data from Dash Central and makes an easy way for you to see all the proposals that are coming out and and uh, that are in line. This is a monthly thing, and it happens at the end of the month, so the timing's a little bit tricky. But we're really excited about this, and if we get this Dash proposal, and it looks like it's going to pass so far, the ratio looks really good of yes votes to no votes. So if we've gotten that done, we are like, wow, almost two-thirds of the way with the money raised already just from the sponsorship. So if you want to get in on this, it's a really cool opportunity. We're making history never before in human history if people cut through the digital clutter and put a book in the hands of every single person in a city and delivered the message of freedom.
and done it for just 60 cents a piece. So thank you to everybody who believes in this message, who's read this book, who's wanted to help get everybody else to read it. Mwah. Peace. Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, the next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions, including DTube. And you can find that through Steemit.com as well as my own page there, at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your posts and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at thefreedomline.com and we'll share it on my feed.